government's plan to reduce fiscal incentives extended to businesses is raising concerns as the move may turn off foreign investors. Tax incentives uh, provide the tax exemption for four years. And the, uh, after that, the uh, a tax burden will be cut off around 50% in comparison with the normal tax rate, 30% on a corporate income. It means a lot. Not mere one of the factors, but one of the very big factors for the Japanese direct investors to choose the Philippines. Maybe the Japanese investors will come, but um, of course, it will be slowed down. The negative effect will be expected. <laughs> The Philippines offers various types of incentives to qualified businesses, such as corporate tax holidays, duty-free importation, among others. Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez recently bared plans to rationalize fiscal incentives to make up for revenues that may be lost from the proposed income tax cuts. Dominguez said the incentives are costing the government around 144 billion pesos a year. But the plan to trim incentives comes at a time when foreign investors particularly Japanese companies, are considering to relocate in the Philippines from China, whose economy remains shaky while labor costs continue to go up. Just last week, Japanese firms engaged in food and storage were reportedly eyeing Clark Freeport Zone to set up their factories. Ando says no one expects the perks to last forever. However, now is not the right time to take some of them away, especially since the Philippines lags behind ASEAN peers in foreign direct investment inflows. Until foreign direct investment flow, uh, into the Philippines, it takes over. Uh, the other countries, uh, foreign, direct in uh, foreign investment uh, receipt and uh, the Philippine domestic market becomes large enough so that the domestic market can attract uh, foreign investors. Still, an exporters group says the Dominguez plan might not be a bad idea as tax incentives are not the primary consideration for most foreign investors. Madami dun sa binibigyan ng tax incentive dito, hindi naman naghahanap ng tax incentive that is that big eh. What they want is level playing field, no? Uh, many countries who, who attract foreign direct investment does not give that much uh, uh, fiscal incentive, no? In fact, Ortiz Luis says the government can scrap the corporate income tax holiday, and the Tax Management Association of the Philippines agrees. The income tax holiday is not really that uh, critical to a lot of people because if you put up your, if if you're just putting up your business in the Philippines, then when you start uh, your construction or your relocation here you have uh, a lot of expenses so at the end of the day you may not really uh, be paying uh, taxes because your expenses would increase or would exceed your income so in other words you may not really have that income yet but the government says government should still consult with investors and businessmen before implementing anything what is uh, key here in the uh, discussion on incentives is to really discuss this also with the the investors what are their concerns to consider and we should come up with a, a win-win solution the incentives overhaul will be part of the tax reform package the duterte administration plans to submit to congress by september shyla francisco bloomberg tv philippines